We can keep no two drops, sadly, on the draw. Want to on swamp into duress, taking either wedding announcement or the emperor. Potentially the wedding announcement. It's only a three drop. Yep, makes sense to me. We hit infernal grass. It's not terrible. Play out our slow land. Opponent goes right into the anvil, but they don't have fodder for it yet. Okay. Draw into Soren. Interesting. We could pick off the anvil right now and ramp them. Let's wait and see what happens first. It's not awful, but I don't love it. Okay. If they have no fodder for the anvil. The anvil's not scary. Ramping them is not good. Let's leave it. Let's make them have it. Okay. Now we really don't want to employ the Boseju because we need that fourth land anyway. So we're probably not going to take out the anvil with it, but it is an interesting option. Okay. All right. Hit lands anyway. That's nice. So whatever we play this turn is going to get removed. So it's probably an Emperor turn. Flash it in on their step. And here. Fifth land. Into the Harvester. So they now can turn on the Anvil, but nothing we can do about that. Or rather, I'd rather deploy the Emperor anyway. Okay. So here comes the Emperor. Okay. I think for a while there, they let it resolve. Okay. Make the blocker. And they vaulted surge. Okay, sure. And they sack the token manually. They don't want to cycle, or they want to hold two men open. Okay, I'm thinking it's a Soren turn this time. We can actually attack here, which is interesting. See if they want to trade the Harvester. I think that's okay. It's mostly a free attack. See if they want to trade. They don't. Three two points of damage, and we'll try out the uh, Soren here. Take the minus. See if they have yet another Voltage Surge. Definitely possible. Yep, they have Surge Part Two. It's okay. Still got a ton of great cards in hand. Reckoner's Bargain. What is that? You gain life equal to draw two cards. Okay, interesting. Synthesizer. Okay. Voltage Surge on the Life Linker. Unlicensed Hearse. Interesting. Man, we'd love to get value out of the Paragon before they start taking things out of the graveyard. That's not a bad draw. They're completely tapped out, though. Just dropping Shoulder is very annoying by itself. There's also an opportunity to take out the Anvil for good, which is kind of interesting. Let's be honest, I'm not super worried about it. I think plusing on a Johnny is pretty good. You can even hold Infernal Grasp. We don't have to, um... I guess we have we have four mana regardless, right? Yeah, we're good at it anyway. Okay. We can pay the full price here then. Take a plus. Nice. Might want to save the grass for the hearse. I think we attack here. Might not block. Okay. And here. As long as Johnny sticks around, we're going to be in a super strong position for the rest of the game. But they get their hearse off. Unfortunately, they know we have the paragon. Yep, makes sense. Okay, manually sack the synthesizer. Hit land, sure.
Okay. I think we're happy to trade here. I think we're saving the Infernal Grass for the hearse. Because that will be large at some point. Okay. Warland's actually fine. Continue to plus here. It's pretty good too. So it looks like an Adeline turn, plus either the Emperor or the Shouldred. How big is this thing? They can't really crew it yet, so maybe it's just Shouldred instead. Okay, it's a lot to deal with for the opponent. They continue to exile things. Just one though there, actually. Sack the tram station, draw a card. Another synthesizer. Bolted Surge. And another anvil. Okay, that's interesting. Manual sack. Okay, they're doing things. Bolted Surge to take out Adeline. Bankbuster. So the thing is, the Paragon can go ahead and get back the... Um, Adeline. I guess they can do that at instant speed, though. So we might not get that to resolve correctly. We don't need more land. Every day, more rally Let's see if they let the Paragon go through. They probably won't forget, yeah. Okay, sure. Hit him for four here. Take one chump, sure. You could actually Infernal Grass their token and force them to sack another anvil, but I don't think it's worth it. I still want to save the graphs for the hearse at some point. We could we could do the Ajani minus, which is funny, but I don't know if that's really worth it. Okay, they keep doing their thing, but I don't know if it'll be enough. More land. Alright, they finally power up the hearse. They know we have the Emperor, though. Okay, so we're just flashing the Emperor. Take a draw now, but I doubt they have anything in their deck that can respond. Scoop. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Sweet Man, just plus on the Johnny always feels good. Probably have to mold this. Um, man, if we hit a third land, we can at least deploy a Johnny, but with that protection, just not as good. Okay. Slightly better. Put back one of you guys. So we have plenty of black, so we'll put back uh, the Proving Ground here. Okay. Start here. Companion on two, potentially into a turn three of Johnny. Opponent on green. That's fun. Pack leader. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm sure we can play this out. Drop the companion. Trades well with the pack leader. And we hit a Liliana. Okay. Things are moving along. Gruel into the Beast Caller. Let's see if they want to trade. They do not. Okay. We could try a Liliana Minus here. I don't really think either the um, Liliana Minus or the Ajani Plus is amazing, but we're going to try it like this. At least we pick off one of their creatures. Third land into what? Kumano picks off Liliana for free. Okay. So be it. Sorry, I'm not interested in dying today. And a firebrand. Beast caller up to a 3-3, unfortunately. No blocks. 
Oh, we got Liliana again. I mean, Shouldred's okay. They would have to play two creatures to get the Beast Caller big enough, so... We'll try this out. Let's see how it goes. No attacks. Okay, just one creature. Attack with the 5-4. With Trample, so I think we just eat it all here. Don't think we trade the shoulder just yet. Got to 9. Ugh. More land. What if we just make an absolutely massive shoulder? Off the Ajani Minus? How is that? I haven't used the Minus before. Um, yeah, we might as well do it this way, because we can't play out Liliana also. But this might have to be how it is. Okay. Massive shoulder assembled. Deal with that, Gruul. So unfortunately, it's only a matter of time until the... Uh, I wonder if they just have lethal here. Nope, they don't quite. It's only a matter of time until the Beast Caller gets big enough. Okay, they take out the Ajani. That kind of sucks. I'm curious. They might try to push for lethal. They might just attack, spam attack all and see what happens. Try to get there in the next two turns. Play out a Yavimaya. It's a 5-5 five, five now. Do they attack or not? They do. They're going for it. Okay. Companion cannot block. So how much damage is that? 9, 10, 11. That's lethal. Okay. If we take out the Beast Caller, they put three counters somewhere else. They put it on the Firebrand. still not big enough. Take out the Iconoclast. How good is that? I think it probably is the Beast Caller here. Take 9 damage. Drop to 1. It's not great. I'll tell you that. It's not great. So we probably need to top deck a Wandering Emperor. Yeah, they put it on the Firebrand. Okay. Wedding Announcement. Okay. Does that do it? I don't think so. Sack creature. So we won't be able to block with one of these. So I think they win here. No attacks. So one of these can't block. So they have three, at least three attackers. And we have two blockers. So we should lose here. Unless I somehow miss it, but that's game. Yeah, they straight up have lethal here. Yep. It's fine. It happens. All right, this is a little sus, but um, so many draws get us out of this. When it's their one drop on one, though, that's not the ideal way to start. And we hit more land, also not the ideal way to start. Hit a Sanctum down. Okay, any two or three drop is acceptable. We have numerous of them. Okay. An increasingly aggressive start by the opponent. Okay. Down to 18. That's a card that can be played. Hopefully they expend some resources attacking instead of her life. Underdog. Okay. Level up a sleeper. Hit us for a bunch. Feels good. Land. Okay. Drop a Liliana just to do something. Have him sack a creature. Just to slow him down a little bit. Cool. Alright. The good news is, as soon as next turn we can start um, dropping the Wandering Emperor, that actually does something if we're not dead yet. Fourth land. Hasty Underdog comes down. And we eat five more, down to nine. Okay. Take the draw off. So I do think we um, go the Emperor route this turn. Because... Um, because if we drop Shouldered and the Infernal Grass and they hit us for a bunch, it's going to feel really bad. Whereas the Emperor does a little bit better against that type of board. 
What if they run Invoke Despair in this deck? They seem to be very low to the ground and aggressive. Tainted Adversary, okay. Well, that's interesting. It's a lot of zombies to deal with. Okay. Do we take out the Menace? It doesn't really matter. I mean, the Slipper's interesting. Menace just gets through to the Emperor for free. Maybe it's the Menace instead. Okay. Down to eight. Wedding announcement. So if we play Shouldred, and we sacrifice it to the Death Toucher, how bad is that? We can also just Minus and play another Emperor. Which is maybe better. Okay. And here. Keep watch for intruders. Yes, please. Do that. Do all the things. Okay. Hasty Underdog comes down. I think we want to exile the adversary here. They level up a sleeper. Sure. Let's see if we're just dead or not. Here they come. Decay triggers. Sure. Alright. Well... Let's exile you. We get a little life. Trade with one of these guys. Take three, four, five, six, seven. Take nine. Drop down to one. Okay. So if they play Okobo, we just lose. Is there any way around that? Not really. I don't hate the life linker. Children's pretty similar. They're not going to have a hasty threat. It's definitely wedding announcement. It's probably children. They go land removal. We'll have one blocker. They get him with the underdog. But I guess it doesn't matter. The question is do we minus or plus the emperor, really? Let's try a shoulder here. And I guess we have to minus. Okay, we'll see if they have it. Land, Infernal Grass, drop the underdog, does it. Um, Okaba, raid boss, does it as well. Just ping us for one. It's Trespasser, also does it. Surely there's a creature down here, right? Yeah, just take your creature. Yep. All right, almost got there, but I mean, we took the slow start intentionally, and it did not quite pay off. We didn't get enough two, twos and threes in the first couple turns. On the play with good mana, let's go. Start here. Red. All right, get that underdog down. A little bit of stick. Might see a play with fire to the face or to the underdog. We'll see what they need. Okay. Straight to the underdog. Second land into the firebrand, sure. Yep, um, could sack it with Liliana. What's the chance they have a hasty three drop? Pretty decent. Yeah, I'm okay trying this now. Okay. Make him have it. One of your friends has to leave. The wedding announcement can't block for a while against this guy anyway, so okay, they have the haste. Sure. Right, you can go face with that. Yep. Fine. I know when I'm not wanted. Companion's pretty good. Paragon's interesting. If they don't have removal for the Paragon. We play like Liliana next turn. It's very good. I think we try it here, actually. Large part because just the best thing we can do with our curve this turn. But if they tag all here, we probably will not block. We'll eat it all. And then next turn, try to play things back from the graveyard. Raiju. Okay. That makes things a little more awkward here.
Okay, eat four, no blocks. Down to 13. A Gianni. I think I like the companion here to start. We need to draw some removal for the Raiju. Okay, not it, but land is good. And the wedding announcement's also pretty good. Plus in the Ajani is not really what we need to do right now. And no attacks. This holds back um, the other guys. We have some chump blockers for the Raiju for a while, which is good. Bloodthirsty adversary. Okay. So they can uh, kick it. Get back. Um, play with fire. Let's see where they point it. They might just go base. We'll see. Will they go Paragon so we can't block effectively? No, they take out one of those, for sure. Attack with everyone, okay. Counter goes there, they get a Goblin. All right, that's some good damage there. I guess you either take out Squee or the Adversary. It's kind of interesting. They don't have that many cards in the graveyard, so they're not gonna get back Squee anytime soon. I think we go like this. Take a lot of damage. Yeah, okay. Down to five. We definitely want the companion back. Start there. Okay, more land is fine. It's probably a wedding announcement turn, I guess. We're getting close to dead here. It's a non-trivial amount of death coming in. Whoops, should have played the garden instead. Okay, no attacks. Well, we'll see if we get there. Good news is when the companion dies this turn, we do get two life off of it, which is actually crucial. Phoenix chick. Okay. They attack all again. We're getting close to dead here. In fact, it might just be... Man, just lethal off the counters. Yeah, actually, I think they got there. Depends if they have... Um... All right. Yeah. Good job, Mono Red. Take their sweet time with the scry. That feels good. Mana's not great. But we'll give it a go. Alright. Mana is great. Feels good. Never didn't have it. Up against Mono White Thalia. Okay. Sure. Trespasser's not bad. Infernal Grasp isn't bad. If we get to lay down then Johnny. Um, it's pretty good. Maybe we spend this turn Infernal Grasping. I'm down for that. Hit him for three here. Third land. Yep, little Peacekeeper action. They might take the Ajani. They do. Okay, fine. So we can attack here, play the Trespasser out. Don't take the trade, unsurprisingly. Strip the Thalia. They're in a bit awkward of position where if they attack, we can trade the Trespasser and drop the Ajani anyway. Unless they have double Peacekeeper. Trepid Adversary. Pump Squad. Okay. That does something. Get in for four. No blocks here. Playing out all the underdogs isn't bad. No attacks this turn. Fifth land. Okay. Out comes a pretty big Adeline. They go ahead and attack. So they have Valorous Stance. We block with both underdogs. It's a pretty big blowout. They have Valor stance this way. They only kill one of them, which isn't quite as bad. But that means we don't get a free block on the token, though. Do I want to play around Valor stance? Yeah, I think that's fine. It's a Ganjo instead. Feels bad. Ooh, okay. Companion's not awful. Underdog just for the draw. Not great. 
Better than nothing, maybe. Down to 11. And we might as well attack with it, I suppose. Whew. Okay. Thar comes down, takes a creature. It's not happening in this game. On the play? Mana, not perfect. Okay, start here. We do not hit that untapped land, so we're a little bit slow here. Up against Esper. Okay. Well, um, yeah, we'll try an underdog. That's what we would most want countered with the Make a Spear. Resolves, though, no stick at all. Third land, right into Adeline. Okay. Yeah, well, Grasping's pretty good here. Drop the underdog. And hit him for three. Despite being on the, despite um, having a slow start, being on the play does help. Immediately drop a Rafine. Well, uh, we can just straight up a Ganjo it if they want to let it go through. They probably will not block, but we'll give it a try. Cool. Four damage. Auto pay. Scoop! Let's go. <laughs> okay, that was ridiculous. I'll take it. Welcome to the post game deck tech. If you made it this far, please consider dropping a like, a subscribe, and maybe even a comment. Keep that algorithm moving. Abs and mid range. I honestly had a tough day today. I got destroyed <laughs> repeatedly, uh, which is surprising because in the past I've had a ton of success with this deck. Chalk it up to variants, chalk it up to misplays, chalk it up to fatigue. I don't know, but I still think this deck is pretty strong and can do some pretty absurd things. Every time you drop an Ajani on three or four, and it sits there and you can just plus every turn, it feels good. You just get so much value, and it's got enough loyalty that it's pretty hard to attack down. So I do love that sequence every time it arrives. There are some tweaks I made to the deck over the course of the day, or rather the morning of testing this deck out. I did end up stripping the uh, Trilands that I had in here early. Number one, because the only green card in the deck currently is a Johnny, so you don't actually need that much green support. And I was finding that too often my opening hands had too many slow lands and I wasn't able to play out my two drops on, on turn two. So I took out the Trilands that come in tapped and try to run as many untapped lands as we can and then just uh, the slow lands here. Should be a pretty good mix. Also, I ended up cutting some of the four drops for two more slots for the Bang Cluster. This card is just absurdly good, and um, even though it's not a creature or planeswalker, so you can't plus the Ajani and draw right into it, I still think it's good enough and deserves a slot. Um, anytime you have an underdog down or a, a beefy Adeline or a Trespasser, the ability to power the Bang Cluster just to block or attack as a 4-4 is just a lot of value that I don't usually think about on top of just the draw engine, so it is quite good. Uh, four Companions, I'm running this over the Flash Reinforcements. I think it's a little bit better. I like the draw off it, and I like playing it back with the uh, Paragon, which does come up sometimes. You could play the, you know, the two-mana Flash Reinforcements to protect your Planeswalkers, but I'm pretty happy with the Companion. Four copies of Infernal Grass, because you need it to remove all the big things. Also, four copies of the Emperor, because you just need more removal in the deck, and this, this doubles as our second removal option in addition to the Grasp. <clears throat> four Wedding Announcements, pretty obvious fit in the deck. Two Adeline, two Trespasser split. You don't always need the Trespasser. Both these cards are very solid in their own respective ways. Two Liliana is probably the least um, satisfying card in the deck to play. You could maybe trim one and up an Ajani, for example. I, I I tend not to be massively impressed with this card, but who knows? And then uh, just a lot of great four drops. Again, Emperor just for removal. Shoulder because it comes down, your opponent has to answer it. And then the last loss, just one Sorn and one Paragon. Not running any Sanctuary Warden. It just seems like the four drops are so freaking good that... I don't know if it's worth putting in the Warden, and it's really hard to resolve the Warden against any blue deck that plays Make Disappear. Make Disappear is honestly quite the format-defining card. Just the ability, anytime the opponent has a blue and something else open, you're like, well, shit, I can't drop my 4-drop on turn 4 because they probably have Make Disappear, so I have to wait and play around it. And so extending that all the way out to the 6-drop slot, when your 4-drops are still really good, I don't know if it's worth it, even though I do love the Sanctuary Warden. 25 land. All right. That's the deck. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.